Hi everyone, in this video, I will be explaining that how to fix the procedure on tree point not found dynamic link library on Windows 11. This error mostly comes up when you try to install any application like Roblox or any other application. I will be sharing the very effective solution that is 100 working, and that exactly what you need to do on your PC and laptop. First what you will have to do you need to click on your search box type CMD, right click on command prompt, and choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up now here. Type the following commands and hit enter. Now this command will be scanning all kind of system file for any kind of integrative violation. So this will take some times. Next method, U. Click on the Windows Search, type Virus. From the situation, choose Virus and Threat Protection. Now here, you will be getting an option as Scan Options. And then you have to select Quick Scan. And then click on Scan Now. This will be scanning for any kind of malware or any infection that is on your PC or laptop. Method 3. Download and install Microsoft Visual C++ 2013. You have to copy that link from the description paste into your browser. And you will come to this website called Visual C++ Redistributable Packages for Visual Studio 2013. Once you come here, you see an option of download. And you can choose your preferred language from the drop down. Now it will ask you that what kind of architecture of operating system you're using is it 64 bit or 32 bit. So in order to find it, you have to click on your search box type system. And from the suggestion, you have to click on system information. And here you will see system type x64. So if that means it's a 64 bit operating system, but if it shows you x36 then it means that it's a 32 bit operating system. I will go with 64.1 so you have to check this option and then click on next. Now you can see that the file has been downloaded. So you have to click on it. Check the option of I agree to the license terms then click on install then click on yes. The installation will be started and it's a setup successful. Once you are done you have to close it. Method 4. Download and install Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Next again, you will be getting another link in the description you have to copy it and that will be for Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Once this has been installed, you have to again click on it. Check the box click on install and complete the setup. Once it's been completed, you have to restart your PC. And after that, next time when you will try to install or open that application you won't be getting it that error message anymore. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.